So obviously there have been a lot of changes in the last 20 years in local media. Mm -hmm. When you think about all of the changes, how, it, how it, they've affected consumers and your business, which one do you think is the most impactful? You know, the one thing over the last 20 years that I think has changed the most is the TV station business used to be sort of a mom and pop business. It had to, because of competition, consolidate. So the last 20 years, you've seen station groups larger and larger and larger. And then television stations, you know, not be, you know, just purely local. But we have focused the most on keeping ours very focused on their communities, on their localities, and the local news. And the one thing that I'm the happiest about in terms of what the last 20 years has shown is that of all media, uh, and right now we're in an era where a lot of people don't trust the national media, but they do trust their local media sources. And so uh, I think we've earned it, and I think that continues to carry us through as a business and, and as journalists. So that, and I would think the, um, the strength in local news is something that makes you a little bit digital and social proof because Facebook any other news source will never have the local credibility sure. that you've built up. You know, and, and you know, if you if you look at the at the big digital spends, I mean, obviously Google and Facebook have a huge number and all of that. But if you look at any one of our 93 markets, we are by far the largest digital advertiser in that market, and we have by far by market, which is how we look at it, the the largest audience and audience audience share of of, of anything in the market. And so now you're eclipsed when you have a national platform like Google or Facebook has, but um, you know our world has got to continue to, to change because you know the competition is not the local TV station down the road. We really are competing with Google and Facebook on on all kinds of fronts, and that is the reality of the 21st century. Yep. So talk a little bit about how your product strategy has morphed as consumers have moved their time from solely the TV screen 20 years sure. ago to now being on devices all the time. We actually love it. If you, if you want to know the truth, we think it's a whole lot better and, and I wish the broadcast business had moved even faster. We were one of the very first uh, television groups to have all of our stations on, you know, with not just beginning way back in the day with websites, but the very first sort of mobile app that we got out there. We were one of the initial sort of investors behind Syncback TV. So you can go to SBTV right now anywhere that you're in the world and watch your local market and what we have rights to anywhere in the world. So you can see it digitally, you can see it over the top, you can, I mean, you can see it on all kinds of things. That's better for us. One of the things that we've been talking about in this meeting is that we've got to find a way to measure that audience because it is much greater than what ratings show because it, it's picked up by impressions everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So talk a little bit, that's a great segue into this idea about moving from selling cost per point to selling cost per thousands, measuring impressions. What's your view about how quickly the market will move to, to being focused on impressions? And you the know, benefit to you. I, 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 think it's, I think it's moving as we literally speak. I think it's moving by the minute and the hour. Uh, I mean, there's five TV groups right now that I've already heard have adopted it. And if you really think about it, we have absolute data on just about everything, and the least quantifiable of all of them is the one that's been quantified the longest, which is linear television. But everything else, I've got my impressions. I mean, we've see, you know, we see them, and our impressions are growing by... 30 and 40 percent a year. It's really remarkable. So selling it as one integrated package, including everything, yes. gives you yes, guys new inventory. You know, it, it's, yeah, because you know, an advertiser trying to sell his or her product. And so if it, if it gets out in front of you know, a, a huge audience, they need to know that. And right now, that audience is not being, it's being tapped, but it's not being sold. And so it needs to be articulated and, and distributed and then measured in that way. And so I'm, I'm very excited about it. I think it's a game changer for the whole industry. Great. So as you think about the next five years, what excites you the most about the future for local television? You know, I think the future is exceptionally bright for local television. Um, but I'm very excited about what, we're, what we were just speaking about in terms of total audience measurement. I'm very excited about the adoption of ATSC 3.0. Um, I think that's really going to be a, another remarkable game changer. One of the things that we sort of liken it to, and I mentioned it um, recently, is it, it comes in, it's really an enabler, because if you think about it, 12 years ago we got our first sort of 
you know, mobile phone, all right, that was actually a smartphone. Well, who would have thought 12 years ago that the mobile phone could do all that it does today? We think ATSC 3.0 is going to do the exact same thing for the broadcast industry across the board because that technology is going to allow us to open up a million different opportunities, some of which we don't even anticipate today.